Uh, welcome to Economic Principles Week 6, uh, Key Concepts and Summary. Uh, this week we analyzed the economic growth and employment and inflation. Um, as we know, every country worries about economic growth. Uh, in in high-income countries like the U.S., the question is whether economic growth uh, continues to provide the same outstanding gains in our standard of living as it did uh, during the 20th century. Uh, meanwhile, um, can middle-income countries like Brazil, Egypt, or Poland uh, catch up to the higher income countries or must they remain in the global second tier of per capita income? Uh, in this week's module, uh, we highlighted uh, economic growth, uh, unemployment and inflation, all critical factors in our well-being as individuals and as a society as a whole. So uh, let's um, take a look on this uh, six weeks uh, key concepts. So, uh, over decades and generations, a uh, seemingly small difference of few percentage points in the annual rate of economic growth uh, make an enormous difference in GDP per capita. Uh, capital uh, deepening refers to an increase in the amount of capital per worker either human capital per worker in the form of higher education or more skills, or a physical capital per worker. Uh, technology, in its uh, economic meaning, uh, refers broadly to all new methods of production, uh, which includes major scientific inventions, but also a small inventions and even better forms of management or other types of institutions. Uh, as we know, a healthy climate for growth in GDP per capita consists on improvements in human capital, physical capital, and technology in a market-oriented environment with supportive public policies and institutions make uh, the balance for uh, this economic growth. As we have uh, learned, unemployment uh, imposes uh, high costs. Unemployed individuals suffer from loss of income and from stress, and um, as we have learned, uh, economists define the unemployment rate as the number of unemployed persons divided by the number of persons in the labor, in the labor force, not the overall uh, adult population. Um, a person uh, without a job must be willing and able to work and actively looking for a work to be counted as an unemployed. Otherwise, a person without a job is counted as out of the labor force. Uh, the current population survey, uh, CPS, conducted by the United States Census Bureau, uh, measures the percentage of the labor force that is unemployed. Uh, the Establishment Payroll Survey by the Bureau of Labor Statistics measures the net change in jobs created for the month. And that is something that is very important uh, uh, for the financial markets as we normally see reactions uh, on the stock market uh, due to that uh, information uh, every month. <sighs> The patterns of unemployment in the U.S. Uh, are, uh, let's say, uh, some sort of uh, stable. Uh, in the U.S., unemployment rate uh, rises, uh, and everywhere actually, uh, during period of recession and depression, but falls back at the range of uh, four to six uh, when the economy is strong. Uh, the unemployment rate never falls to zero. Uh, despite enormous growth in the size of the U.S. population and labor force in the 20th century, along with other major trends like globalization and new technology, the unemployment rate shows no long-term rising trend. Unemployment rates differ by group. For example, higher uh, for African Americans and Hispanics, 
than whites. It's also higher for less educated than more educated, higher for the young than the middle aged, and women's unemployment rates used to be higher than men's. However, in recent years, men's and women's unemployment rates have been very similar. In recent years, unemployment rates in the United States uh, have compared favorably with unemployment rates in most other high-income economies. Finally, we have learned uh, the crucial impact that inflation has in our economy. So, uh, how we track inflation, right? Um, economists measure the price level by using a basket of goods and services and calculated, uh, calculating how the total cost of uh, buying that basket of goods will increase over time. Economists often express the price level in terms of an index uh, numbers, which transform the cost of buying the basket of goods and services into a series of numbers in the same proportion to each other but with an arbitrary base here of 100. We measure the inflation rate as the percentage change between price level or index numbers over time. Nowadays, we are uh, seeing uh, a higher inflation rate that is uh, abnormal in the, in the later or recent years here in the U.S. And uh, this, uh, it is an important subject matter that you also should be uh, revising um, during your, your cases and your articles uh, analysis.